Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I'm going to show you HTTP callout Salesforce flow, all winter 24 feature about this callout and all methods like get, pause, put, patch and delete. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel, like, share, comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site. Okay. So let's get started without any further delay and please watch this video until end if you want to learn all the methods like get, pause, put, patch and delete. Okay, so let's get started here. Before that, if you want to start this call out in flows, so you have to choose one API. So I am using, uh, you know, rapid API. It's all about, uh, you know, like all the crowds like get, pause, put, patch and delete. So that's why. I will show you the name credential as well as permission set. So this is the some prerequisite before starting this video, right? So how to do that? Let me show you here. So I just logged in into my shells for sure. So you have to open like name credential in the quick find name credential. So just click on this name credentials. And under here, I already created some name credential. So let me open this all HTTP callout. And once you open it, you can see this, you know, name credential here. So there are two types of name credential. One is old one and second one is, the, you know, like latest one. So if you want to click on this name credential and here you can see the external credential and name credential. So external credential have like more functionality instead of, you know, like old one. So you have to create new one and provide the endpoint URL. So let me open my all HTTP callout, you know, HTTP callout uh, name credential. So now you can see uh, authentication protocol custom. This is the label and this is the API name. After that, you can see related name credential. I'm using this REST API, api.restful-api.dev and this is a principle, right? Once you add these things, just you have to click on name credential and create your name credential using this tab first tab not a second tab because second tab is the first option you have to cre create first external credential then we have to go name credential and after that you have to open the permission set so before that let me open the name, name credential this all http callout and under here very simple just you can see the label api name and the endpoint url and I just enable all the header. You can see like formulas, HTTP body, like this. This is some prerequisite. After that, you have to open permission set. So just let me open the permission set here. So once you open the permission set here, so all HTTP callout here, you can see, you can create new one if you don't have. So just open my existing permission set. And once you open this permission set, just go down. Here you can see the one you know like you have to configure it that is called external credential principal access without this one you cannot access you know like all external credential okay so now you can see once you open it just you have to add or edit and here you can see once you click on this edit button you will be see your you know name credential inside this external or available external credential principal so i just use my old HTTP callout here. You can see this is the permission set. Okay, so let's move into the flow. So here you can see, I already created lots of, you know, flow about you know, all the methods like get, post, put, delete, patch. Okay, so I will show you one by one uh, these flows in this video and you can learn from here as well because it's a you know like new features in winter 24 release so you have to learn these things because it's a new right and always follow the best practice or you know new feature in our own so just let me open the first like post let me show you the this one this post you know like flow because i want to create some data first and after that i want to get the data and then I want to update the data and after that we will delete the data. So that is CRUDs under the flow, okay, using HTTP callout. So once you open it, I will explain this flow here one by one steps, okay. So just, this is the screen simple flow, you can see screen flow. 
under here i just add added one you know like uh stb call out you know fields so how to get these all fields you can get here once you enter this rapid api or you know restful rest api hyphen dev you can see the post one so just click on this post you can see the fields like name year price cpu model hard disk that's why i already created this kind of fields here like this this is a screen flow okay and this is a tax this is also tax this is also tax this is the number and this is the number as well so this is a very simple screen right so you have to create like this after that you have to assign that variables screen variable into the you know like http input body so let me show you the first action how to get this input body so once you add your http call out like post so you will be see like a, a external services this is the http call out method and this is the post request and here you can see my endpoint url and after that you have to uh, set request body like input body one this is apex defined variable okay so based on this variable i am getting some data or putting some data from you know right to left here you input body name price year hard disk cpu something like that okay so you have to assign one by one after that you can see this action here and once you've done your action after that you can see my screen that is called id and status code because in post one we can get only you know like a status code and id cre uh, created records okay so that's why i'm using this one and it's a very simple so how to execute let me show you here just click on this uh, you know debug and let's see so once you open this flow and you have to enter your details of your products okay so just click on this run button and under here you have to enter let's say uh, http post you know uh, record something like that and cpu model uh, let's say i7 hard disk 50 tb for example uh, 20 this is the year and the price something like that once you click on the next button you will be see the you know output of this you know post request so once you uh, add it or you know like hit the next button so now you can see the status code 200 means it's okay and successfully created this record with this id so how to get this you know like uh, this product based on this id very simple and in uh, here you can see the in in the debug panel uh, this is the output screen one by one each and every you know attributes of this you know post call out okay just this is the post one so we already created this you know product let me get this product in salesforce how to get it very simple just open my flow here so i just open here let me open this get one and let me explain to you first this get flow here and this is a very simple you know flow http get so under here you can see the enter the product id this is the tax field because based on this id based on this highlighted id i want to get the product details right so you have to create one field uh, take some you know inputs from the user uh, product id and close this screen after that you can see the http get and this is the get method and here you can see the endpoint url here to here you can see this is the base url after that you have to pass like object and the product id as a dynamic because i want to take this product id from my screen one and this is the you know set url path and this is the dynamic id so uh, uh, once you enter this you know dynamic id inside this screen so that id automatic comes here and based on this id it's automatic showing the details so let me close it and the last screen uh, i'm going to show you this id name cpu hard disk based on the id i want to get all the product information regarding this id right so just close it and let me debug it so based on this id let me show you the product details so just open it and click on this run button and let me enter this product id let me copy it and let me paste it here and click on the next so once you click on the next so based on this id now you can see i just created before two three minutes uh, before uh, this record now you can see like the uh, name my product name http post record and uh, 
CPU model i7, hard disk, everything you can see the detail, right? So this is for GAT. Post we already done, GAT also we done. Now it's time to update this record. Okay, so how to update it? Very simple. So we have two types of, you know, like update. One is put and patch. Put basically used for update. A patch def definitely used for, you know, like partial update of the record. So let me open my put put flow first of all like HTTP put so put basically used for update so let me update this product and let me explain this flow first of all so under this screen first screen uh, you have to enter the product ID like this and each and every records regarding uh, based on this you know like uh, this is schema so I just configured this schema inside my you know post one here you can see this is a very simple field like number tax and tax something like that right so once you enter this detail i just assign these all variables my input body and input body comes from you know like http uh, like portal here you can see the put method and uh, product id and this body so based on this body i'm just uh, mapping that fields inside my screen flow right so once you've done it after that you can see like http demo dot to uh, xx means 200 this is the status code based on this status code i'm getting the product name so if you need like more than uh, you know like uh, more information so let me enter here let's say name and let me make it this bold and here like updated date also like updated uh, date here so let me bold out here and here in this output body to access you know like update and time because i want to check this update and time right so just click on this done save it and let me debug this flow so once you save this flow let me debug it and let me update this record in the get you can see uh, we have this kind of information right i want to update this http like uh, put record like that and rest of the uh, or you can change each and every you know records based on the inputs so just click on the run and enter the product id so this is the product id let me copy this product id and paste it here and name is like http portal method something like that and please observe in the get we have like cpu i7 make it this i9 for now like i9 hard disk like a 10 tv in get we have like a 50 tv so everything i want to update so let's say color like the black year 20 10 something like that and price one two three four five something like that like six click on the next and once you click on the next you after some time you will be see the updated record now you can see please observe uh, HTTP put method is uh, updated and this is the updated date and time. So right now I am in I am in different time zone. That's why you can see my time like uh, 1 p.m. and this this date, right? So that's why in your case maybe different times or time zone you will be see. So now you can see this is updated. Once you click on this get one again, let let me run this uh, flow get you will be see the different you know like data because it's already updated so let me run it and let me enter the product id this product id and click on the next now you will be see like http put method i9 10 tv and one two three four five and this year because we already updated that record that's why you can see the different data based on this id right so this is the put all about the put now let me move into the next one and next one is a patch and patch basically used for the you know like partially so let me click on this par, uh, patch one patch flow so let me open this patch flow and this is the http patch so here very simple i just created all the flow all the same strings like uh, uh, taking product id and name i want to update the name okay partially update and rest of the things leave it as it is because in the get one let me open the get you can see i9 10 tv each and every record i want to leave it as it is i just want to update only the name of this product based on this id okay so that is called patch so let me open this flow let me run it and let me copy this id and please observe 
okay and here click on the run and this is the port one let me open the patch one so this is the patch let me debug it and once you debug this flow click on the run and it's asking the product id and name so let's say http patch patch method for example right click on the next and once you click on the next now this method is updated and each and every record you can see in the outputs in json format and let me open the get one and in this time you will be see only the name will be update and rest of the things will be see as it is so let me debug this flow like that because every time you have to check the record it's updated deleted or something like that right so click on the run based on the product id i want to get the record and here please observe in previous in get one you can see only http put method and all the details right but in, in this one you can see http patch method and uh, all the details are same but only name is updated that is called patch one okay so this is the patch 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 uh, flow okay so now this and uh, now this is the uh, patch one and now it's time to uh, learn the delete and uh, this is the last you know like http method inside this release winter 24 uh, regarding the salesforce flow so let me open the http flow http delete flow and let me delete this product so based on the id i want to delete it very simple just in this screen we we uh, we already capture like product id and based on this id i want to delete it once you open the action you can see the uh, delete method like this delete and this is the uh, url path and based on product id i want to delete it in the success screen i just mention the message confirmation message so just click on this debug let me copy you know like this uh, id and once you open it click on this run and just enter the product id click on the next and once you next it now you can see product with id this this has been deleted and once you open the get flow let me execute this get flow so this time you will be see some error because that record is not available in the database that's why you will be see some error click on the run and let me enter this product id enter it so this time you cannot see any kind of you know information because it's already deleted and here you can see the default exception if you need to modify your flow you can add the you know fault path or error message screen custom error message something like that so under the here in the outputs you can see the default exception so object with id this, this was not found because that record is already deleted and also you can see the response code for not for means that record is already deleted and not founded into the database that's why okay so this is all about like all http callout in flow winter 24 release so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comments and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys